Hey guys, Sly Starcraft here, bringing you an interesting series with uh, the player in the top left named Moo. Moo's actually in Division 3, uh, same division as Noni, and he's got a record of like 130 and 40 or something like that, so he's a very strong player. Uh, Moo is a, uh, he's a contender, so I actually played him this first game, and then I searched for another game after this game, and I found him again and then three more times after that so I have a five game series against move for you guys it wasn't intentional it just kinda happened but he seems like a nice guy uh, just get based on the games we played so it should be pretty fun posting these and you guys can kind of uh, check out like a mini series like a tournament-esque series from us here so I'm the Zergen bottom left this is Kulas Ravine this is game one of five in a best of five series We'll see how these games turn out. Looks like he isn't doing any kind of Reaper harass or anything like that. He hasn't even sent out a scout, so uh, that'd be kind of tough to do. And you don't really see that on this map anyway. I'm going a 14 pool, it seems like. My 14 drone coming out. We'll see if I place down my pool after that. Gas going down for Moo. Uh, sorry about the in-game audio on my last video, guys. It's uh, Sometimes I forget to turn it down. A lot of you were complaining in the comments, well just make sure to read the descriptions on my videos and you'll see that I did notice that the end game was a little bit loud, so I'll try to remember to turn it down from now on. My new microphone is still on the way, a lot of you are asking me if what headset I got or whatever. I actually just got a microphone from Logitech, it was highly recommended, recommended on Newegg.com, so that is on the way. So uh, lots of good stuff coming to me here. There we go, there's that spawning pool, pumping up to 16, getting an overlord at 16, followed by a queen once the pool finishes, and about four, four zerglings are always good to kill any harassing SCVs or any early, like, marine annoyances. And first marine coming out already, so are we going to see some kind of bunker out? It's really unusual for a Terran to send out marines against a zerg player, just because zerglings are so fast and you can always just catch them if you want to. Drone and SCV duking it out, trying to get this expansion here, but I see this Marine coming in, I run my poor little drone away so this, so that he doesn't die. What's he doing at his base meanwhile? Getting an orbital command, and looks like he's about to build something. Oh, he's going for a factory, so not going to see a Marine Marauder build out the gate yet. Overlord flying up to the island to try to get some scouting in, and my four Zerglings are moving out. He now has three Zerglings, or three Marines at the Zelnaga Watchtower, so uh, if my Zerglings run up there, they will be destroyed pretty easily by these Marines. Let's see what happens here. No Marines, no! Oh, they're getting destroyed. Bad focus fire there on my part, trying to just kill this weak Marine now, but a uh, nice micro by Moo. Not, like, game-breaking micro, obviously, but, you know, every little bit adds up, so he survived. Four Marines. Four Zerglings with three Marines, and this guy actually got three kills. What a baller. There we go. Two more Zerglings coming in, but that SCV support is going to allow him to kill those as well. One Marine remaining with five kills. He is a corporal. That guy's a badass. This SCV continuing to build. That factory has finished. Looks like he's going to land it onto the reactor and probably pump out a couple Hellions. At my base, I am placing a Roach Warren and another Gas. Expansion almost complete, two more Zerglings going out, so these initial Marines are actually really annoying because they're causing me to produce Zerglings instead of drones, and I never want to produce more than four Zerglings in the beginning. I want to try to saturate as fast as I can. Transferring Zerglings to that gas. Roach Warren has been complete, doing a pretty good job of injecting my larva, and here come the first two Hellions. Do I have Link Speed? Oh, I'm just now getting Link Speed, so without Link Speed, these Hellions are faster than Zerglings, so I'm going to have a problem dealing with these guys with just this number of Links who don't even have speed. Here they go, running into my base. Do I see them? I don't think I even saw them. No, my Zerglings are going around because I wasn't sure what he was doing with his army. I was going to check to see if he was breaking uh, this wall down. But he is now in my base. My queen is punching away. Let's check out the harvester count. I'm at 21. Hopefully I won't lose too many drones here. One drone down. Two drones down. <laughs> Choose to pause to inject. Three drones. Four drones down. Oh no, no. Oh, five drones. Six drones. So two Hellions wiping out six drones. Not too bad considering the lack of defenses I had in there. If he would have killed those two, it would have been even more devastating. But nice harass by Moo, very fast, and he just kind of squeezed by where I had no vision, so bit of poor play on my part. Thank you, Jen Hunter. 
and I'm moving out with my zerglings and roaches just to try to get a contain on him. I'm obviously not going to be able to break his front door with this small army. Looks like he actually lifted off and landed again. Now he's getting a Thor, so I like this. He switched them up again. He uh, produced two Hellions from the reactor, lifted off, built the tech lab with the barracks, and then switched them again. So the factory is now in the tech lab. He's getting a Thor. He's probably getting a dropship as well. Yep, there we go. That armory is down, of course. You need an armory to get a Thor. And I think I did see this factory when I ran up there. Yeah, so I should have expected a Thor, but I wasn't really paying attention, to be honest. I do have link speed right now. I wasn't paying attention. This is the first game I'd played in a while. I've, I'm getting kind of rusty, to be honest. Uh, over the weekend, I didn't play at all. But this Thor is ready to go. He's going to try to get a lot of harassment in. And what a lot of players will do with Thors is land them in each of the bases, the main base and the expansion. And just kill off the queen with two shots from the Thor. And look at this, he flies right over my Zerglings while I'm trying to break these rocks. So very fortunate for me that I was able to see that. Hopefully I can prevent any damage done with this Thor it's flying in. I just want to keep my Zerglings under it. But even if I keep my Zerglings and my Roaches under it, he can still do quite a bit of damage. Two shots again, will kill the queen. Here he goes. Queen's going to shoot at the medevac. But the uh, damage just isn't quite enough. Nice little... Uh, choke here, he lands the Thor and only, only able to attack with a couple Zerglings. About 100 damage to the Thor, but he already pops my queen in half. A little poor spot to land, he's not quite able to kill the Spire. Ooh, but he does lift it off. I wonder how much life that Thor had, like 20 life or something. He could go repair that and then land that again and finish off that Spire. If he had the 250mm cannon, he might have been, been able to finish off the Spire as well. But I'm doing pretty good at my expansion now. I'm ahead on the harvester count. And you'll notice I'm also ahead on the minerals and gas count. Despite him having one Thor. So looking pretty good economically. Despite that Thor harass and his uh, Thor killing my queen. Now pumping mutalists. Mutalists? No, not the best counter against Thors. But if he only has one, it's, it's not too bad. So... Plus they're just so mobile and they kind of force your opponent to stray from the medic marines. So it looks like he's just going to be focusing on mass marines. Look at this, three reactors, well two reactors on two raxes and he's now putting up missile turrets. I'm going to try to fly in for some harass. Um, no, actually I'm not, I only have three mutalists so scratch that. Here's the expansion, he's already upgraded that expansion to an orbital command. Transferring some SCVs to that, or to that expansion. No upgrades going down. Not at the engineering bay either. He probably just built the engineering bay for those turrets. Pumping out some massive amounts of marines here. And again, swapping the tech lab and the reactor. Likely for stim pack and the uh, shields. Probably see some of that researching in just a moment here. I scouted with lots of different links just to make sure he wasn't hiding any kind of expansion. And I do see this base with my middle list. I believe I killed a couple of SCVs before his turret was able to kill one of my mutalists. Notice that Thor has been repaired to full health as well. So, so far I don't really have a concrete game plan. It looks like I'm deciding to pump a lot of roaches because I saw those Thors. Thors do pretty good against roaches. Much better against Hydras because Hydras will get one shot at against Thors. Try to destroy these rocks. He's shooting away. He should move his Thor right around here and try to pick off these Zerglings and maybe even reach one of these roaches. But it looks like he's just going to stand up the hill and wait for me to come at him. So we'll see if these amount of roaches are enough to breach this and take out this expansion. There it goes. There goes the wall. Two meters coming in to support. He does have a tank sieged up. I'm going to attack hit. Attack hit. Someone asked me how you attack hit. Well, uh, this is an example of it. It only really works with Thor units, but his forces are getting taken out pretty well. This Thor is just shooting away, doing so much damage. Nine kills. I'm forced to run my remaining roaches away. But look at this. I am macroing up and reinforcing. I'm sending all my roaches here for the rally point. And they are a good army to have against this type of forces uh, move is using. He's even sending in, in some SCVs, so I'm able to kill the Marauder. And his SCVs are around this Thor, and it's so annoying trying to click on these SCVs when the Thor is so fat. Look at that. It's so hard to like actually hover over that mule. But I am focused firing the SCVs. I'm happy with just rallying these roaches and killing SCVs. I don't need to kill this Thor if I'm killing his economy because he's choosing to repair with SCVs. Here he goes again with those SCVs, but I'm able to kill the Thor this time around with the roaches from the bottom. 
and I am in his main and he does not have much to stop me with so this expansion will be forced to lift off and he's transferring his drones away now more roaches coming with an attack one upgrade of course they have the speed upgrade as well so I am in his base it's not looking good for Mu he needs to do something fast to try to win this game probably change to marauders but these are all reactors he has no tech lads heavy marine build let me know that I could probably just mass ro roaches and, and take this game finishing off that reactor taking this third expansion the high yield and I even have a creep highway that I'm not using just because I can come in the back lots of roaches going in inside of all of his men trying to get as close as they can because of their three range and they are just overwhelming his marines he does not have any upgrades even with that medevac there's not much he can do against this number of roaches and uh, just lack of marauders that game allowed me to take the game and uh, that's it that is game one of five of the move size series so thanks for watching